Hello, everybody, and welcome to NASCAR.com Garage Cam, presented by Mobile One. I'm your host, Matthew Dillner, and whoa, check it. Look who this guy is. Bubba Wallace joining us to kick off Garage Cam, and uh, I, I figured since uh, you're on like a streak of six place finishes, like three in a row, we would start ah, out. We would start out with six questions, kind of catchy, and he gets his chug points in. Uh, yeah. First question comes from a fan named uh, Ryan Blaney, um, who wants to know, Bubba, when are you getting your fir first top five finish this year? Today. Today we get our first top five. We get our, our tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow. Uh, well, if we're counting practice today. Yeah, yeah. Um, tomorrow, though, first top five, first win. Uh, watched some tape last night. Um, I'm, I'm pumped. We've always ran good here in California, so tomorrow we got a really good shot. Young Ryan Blaney, a good race fan, uh, answer, answer, asking that question. Uh, favorite songs you've listened to on your NASCAR Goes West trip? Um, see, North Lane just came out with a new album, which is pretty good, really good. Uh, listen to that on the way here. Um, we did a little road trip. What did we have going? We had we had a little bit of everything going. We had some August Burns Red. We had some old Miss May I. Um, there's a bunch. There's just way too much good stuff. Parkway Drive, everything. Okay, uh, after watching you on NASCAR Snapchat, uh, somebody wanted to know that I know, where did you get your sick moves? My sick moves? Yeah. It's just headbanging. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like natural. I think everybody can headbang. As long as you have a good rhythm, that's where you differentiate yourself from the other people. You got to have a good rhythm. You got to go with the beat. Well, because Dee Benedetto tried to impersonate yeah, you, and I didn't his, even, his glasses fell off. I, I didn't even was comment terrible. back on that because yeah, of rhythm. Yeah, no rhythm. The dude he was has just like no rhythm. spazzing out. So yeah, not good. All right, uh, you had a road trip partner, uh, some Blaney kid. Uh, what's his most annoying habit? Um, when he gets like tired or sleepy, he. Um, he gets like really grumpy, like sarcastic, and it's like annoying because you know it's like he's not mad, uh, but he kind of plays that tough role, and, and it, it rubs people, some people the wrong way. Um, but that's probably it. It's probably like, it. a little sarcastic, just BS, just you know, like what the heck. All right, sixth question, man. Final question. This yep. one we draw from a fan on Twitter using hashtag GarageCam. Tigra wants to know, uh, she says she's a rock bass player, and she really wants to play the drums and have a jam session with you and Ryan Reed. Can that happen? And, Ryan Reed? Yeah, I guess it, she Blaney. said Ryan. Oh, with Blaney. Blaney. Blaney plays the drums, too. He screams. Oh, he screams. So yeah. she wants to have a jam session with the three of you. Attention. No. Come on, Dillner, get with the program. I thought it maybe was your teammate. He might. I don't know. I don't know. Does he play anything? Probably no. But uh, would you jam with her and? and... Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. Um, I'll t I, if you can play the drums, that's already awesome. She's a bass player, so. Okay. You guys need that. We need that. Um, we just need a uh, a lead guitar, and we'll be set for a whole band. So let's do it. All right, buddy. Thanks a lot. Six questions with the number six right there with his third in a row, sixth place finish. That's a bunch of numbers for you right there. And uh, yeah, that's a lot of fun. Bubba, Wallace, always a lot of fun. Roush Fenway racing. Ah, that Xfinity program has really picked up the pace there. And uh, I'll expect a win out of him soon. Hey, Eric Morris. Hey, it's Eric Morris from Sprint Vision, MRN, excuse me, not Sprint, IMS Vision now uh, and MRN. All right, buddy. Uh, Fans might have remembered years ago, you're like, I call you NASCAR Rain Man. Give yeah. me something fun and interesting on the Xfinity side. Ooh, on the Xfinity side. Uh, the first race here was won by Todd Bodine in yes. 1997. He was driving the number 36 Pontiac uh, for the CC Welliver team. Yes. Uh, some other memorable races here. Uh, I think in 2001, Hank Parker Jr. got his yeah. first career win uh, driving for the same team, but it was car 36. And uh, did you know that uh, the last who the last non uh, Xfinity Series regular was to win this race? Uh, I think Larson was in the Cup Series when mm -hmm. he won there. Yep. I don't know, man. I, I haven't really studied up my Xfinity yes! this week. No, hang on, hang yes! on. I'll, I'll come, come back on. to it. Oh, am I going to be able to stump Rain Man? Do we have to go to Scott Riggs? Darn it. 2002. <laughs> 2002. Oh. Scott Riggs. Hey, was he helping you? No. Be honest. Uh, honest. I didn't Darn it. Uh, let me put it this way. I wouldn't take the help from a Blackhawks fan. Oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> How'd 2013 end up again? Hey, drop Just the gloves. Just give me 17 seconds. I'll drop tell the you. gloves. It worked on the racetrack with Kyle Busch and Joey Logano. We can maybe make garage cam uh, great by having uh, you guys drop the gloves. Anyway, hey, this guy knows about dropping gloves, and well, he had a pretty good moment last year in the truck series. But now the rookie in the Xfinity series, Cole Custer, the double zero, the double number nothing. Bubba Wallace getting ready for first practice Xfinity Series. I'm your host, Matthew Dillner, having a good time here on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. Hit up, uh, hit up uh, Twitter. Use the hashtag Garage Cam. And let's have some fun as we look at the number 33 of Brandon Jones in his garage hall right alongside teammate in the Chevrolet. City lights shine on the back of the 62 of Brennan Gone. I just bought two bottles of it at the uh, South Point Hotel and Casino. And uh, man, that stuff is good. Am I allowed the pub moonshine? Is that okay? It's, I mean, we are NASCAR. Why not? Harrison Rhodes, the uh, 01. And right alongside, and we know this driver right here, Garrett Smithley. All right, Garrett, uh, you guys had quite a road trip uh, out west. You stayed out here for all three uh, weeks. What did you guys do? Because I saw y'all, the whole Johnny Davis team, you guys were all together this week. We went all over the place. So I flew into Vegas. Thursday before the race, and we did the whole Vegas thing for a week. That was cool. So is it true that you're Nick, Nick Papa Giorgio now? Yeah, Nick Papa Giorgio. So I'm a huge fan of the vacation movies, and Vegas Vacation was like one of my all-time favorites. And of course, Nick Papa Giorgio um, is Clark's son. He's got the fake ID. I don't have to have a fake, although I got ID like I don't know. Yeah, because you look like you're 12. Times. Yeah. 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 Um, so we went to Yuma, Arizona, which is where Nick Papa Giorgio is from. Fun fact, there's nothing to do in Yuma, Arizona. So did, like, you, did you ask anybody if there's stuff to do? Yeah, so we went to a restaurant and we asked our waitress. She was like, uh, actually with the Hooters, Chase Elliott okay. sponsored. Um, we heard there was some owls flying around yes, just a few yes. earlier. So you anyway, brought them from Hooters. We were asking her, we were like, hey, what's, what's there to do in Yuma? And she was like, oh, we go hang out at the tree. We go down to the creek. Oh, and then there's this, the rock. We go hang out down at the rock, and she was dead serious. She was like, oh, these are like actual hangout places. We were like, okay. So we just hung out at the hotel and went to the hot tub. Okay, uh, I think uh, we had six questions with Bubba Wallace, and I can't count. I think I did five six? questions. A six, because he's number six. Well, so that number nothing. So the zero questions. Yeah, zero questions. No, but I, I, <laughs> the one that I wanted to ask him, but I don't think we asked him, was we've seen a groundhog here. We've seen the bees invade the Xfinity garage, and now we've seen an owl on yeah. track. What's what's the next wildlife that you you want, would like to see invade NASCAR? I don't know. I like guinea pigs. Guinea pigs? <laughs> so a guinea pig in the garage or on I, the track? I had some guinea pigs when I was a kid. I don't know. Just. I didn't expect that. I just need them to stay off the track, because I would feel terrible if I hit an animal. Yeah, that would be awful. It would be awful. So, All right. no, we're, we're having fun. But I know at the end of California, I will say, super excited to be at Auto Club. This is one of my favorite tracks. I've only been here once last year. I've been looking forward to it, and uh, I will be ready to go home after. So luckily, we got a week off. So have a good time. All right, Garrett Smithley, driver the number nothing. And I, I think Harrison was on that trip too. Harrison Rhodes, were you on the trip with them? What's that? Were you on that trip with them? I didn't. I you went did? home and slept in my own bed. So you were smart. I was. It, it was. I, I'd run out of clothes. I had to go home and do some laundry. Did you uh, follow it on Snapchat? I did. Did I follow them on Snapchat? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So they had uh, a good time. So they had a good time looking at rocks. And I know. All that stuff. I, I was giving them a hard time. They went and did a private bus tour yesterday and get the invite. Did I they think go, I was on the plane. Did they go by your house? No. 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 Not you're not on the celebrity no. tour. The star might be there, but you know. <laughs> Harrison Rhodes having some fun with us on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. And, oh, wow, all three of the Johnny Davis Motorsports cars are all lined up. Oh, look, it's Ryan Reed. Ryan Reed hanging out at the top of the, uh, yeah, all alone. Poor guy. Just like Stricker, he's all alone. That's our producer. There's nobody around. You're, you're hanging with all your friends. And he's got my notes in a, a, I don't want those notes anymore. What are you, wait, hold on, turn around. What are you doing? What are you doing with my notes? Why do you have your notes, my notes in your pants? Oh Lord, please help us on NASCAR.com. 
Ryan Sieg, Tap and Sons on the side of the 39. The Carroll Shelby, number 98. Military Biage Den Bestie, number 98. Well, guess what? It's a really cool paint scheme. You got to check it out here. Let's brighten it up so you can see it. But you know what's really cool? The driver back is the Bakersfield, California native, Casey Mears. Look back left, owner. Look back left. Sport. Left, left. Hey, I'm over here. Still waiting oh, on check you. Check it out. Been here for like 10 minutes. It's hard to shoot a camera show without a camera. I'm just going to point that out. <laughs> Hi, I'm JJ, JJ Yaley. Yaley, driver of the Superior Essex Toyota. Welcome here That's to it. California Speedway. Actually, I should have. Are you going to interview me? I mean, you I, got I the mic. I should interview you. So yesterday afternoon, just to give our, all of our fans a, a, a quick update. All your fans, because I only have like one, my mom. All the fans that are watching the show, the, the gentleman that's behind the camera, if you could spin the camera around and show yourself, please. Yes, that gentleman right there. We had him stuffed in what would be a very small lab at a escape route here in Southern California. Uh, there was about five or six of us that went. Uh, unfortunately, I would, uh, I'm very ashamed to even say that we were unable to escape from the room. But you're Myself, here. Ryan Newman, uh, Ryan Ellis got out. Yeah, right, not Ryan Newman. That's Ryan like, Newman. Ryan Ellis is like Ryan a quarter yes. of Ryan Newman. Ryan Ellis, my bad. Uh, Ryan Newman's the guy that won last week. Uh, uh, unfortunately for Mr. Dillner, he was unable to figure out any of his clues oh, to get out of the room. I figured out it like five very much out of ashamed. six of my clues. This guy's never played before either, and he got out in like 30 seconds. They gave him the idiot room. And I've never, I was a virgin in the escape room. Yes, so I was too. It does come down to common sense, and unfortunately for part of our team, uh, it did not go well. Mr. Dillner actually did do fairly decent. But I, I, uh, wherever I heard a Jeremy, lot of yelling. Wherever Jeremy you. Clements may be, uh, he's, he's probably, probably screaming. Here. He's probably screaming. He unfortunately is probably still screaming because he did the worst. He did absolutely the worst. Well, so the game started. If and you ever get in a situation of, of panic, run as far away from Jeremy Clemens as possible. <laughs> yeah, he panics. Oh hey, my look, gosh. it's Casey Mears. Should we interview him? And he Casey looks very Mears? dapper there. Look at him. Back in NASCAR. Check it out, Casey Mears. What's up, man? Dang it. JJ was going to interview you, but now yeah, he, he didn't want to do it. Yeah, mics now. Yeah. Man. How are you doing, brother? I'm good. Good to see you. Yeah, good to be man. back on the left coast. Last time we were here, I was like getting you some pastries from someplace in Bakersfield. Yeah, did you man. get to come out here early and do anything fun around? Uh... I did, yeah. We came out for a couple days. It's a kid's spring break, so we came out and, uh, you know, spent a couple days at, at Newport Beach and just kind of chilled out not too far from here and just got in this morning, so ready to ready to get back in a car again. So you're ready to shake this uh, rust off there? And, uh, yeah. you know, what's the goal here, first practice? And obviously the goal is to get the big California win. Yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, this is all new to me. You know, I haven't driven this series, I think, since 2010. Um, a lot of rules have changed since then. New team, new crew chief, everything's new. So uh, I just can't wait to get in the car and kind of see where we're at. You know, you always got work to do, whether you're first or you're 20th on the board. So just want to get out there and, and see what we got to work with and, and, and get to work. You know, you don't, until you know exactly what you have, it's, it's hard to, uh, uh, you know, anticipate what you need to work on. Real quick, uh, we're having some fun because we had a groundhog here a few years ago that they had to catch on the back stretch. Okay. Then we had the bees invade the Xfinity garage. Today there was an owl on track. What would be your, like, if you could choose the next animal, the next animal to invade NASCAR, what would it be? <laughs> uh, most logical, I don't know, maybe a squirrel or something like that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, might, might, might be a lion to dodge or two out there. You, know? you don't want to get squirrely today. Uh, no squirrely. I'm not going to get squirrely today. All right. Casey Mears. <laughs> I had one in the side pot of my Indy car one time. Oh, that was really? no fun. Yeah, That's it was not good. It was ugly. <laughs> All right. Casey Mears, the uh, Biage Den Bestie car, and uh, JJ Ellie. We had a little bit of fun with him. Always have fun with him. It was great to get JJ Ellie back on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. Man, we haven't had him on the show in quite a while. So the uh, Superior Essex number 14 running pretty well this year. And uh, the Arizona native, one hell of an ace in the uh, open wheel ranks, sprint cars and midgets. Brandon H Hightower, this young man, returns in this number 40. The number 23 is Spencer Gallagher, the Allegiant Air. Scuba Steve on the side of the Ray Black Jr. car. 
The repairable vehicles. Oh my God! It's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Get to work. Get to work, Sean. You missed a spot. What are you doing in there? What's up, guys? I've just been here uh, cleaning my car. Well, hey, uh, Clements. Uh, last night you were in the escape room. Are you trying to replicate the escape room again? Yeah. Trying to see if I can figure out, find the clues to escape the inside of this car and get over there to the driver's seat so I can drive this thing. Can you imper- and it's, can it's you, smoking, look, it's smoking. It is. Can you impersonate your uh, escape room last night, what you did as soon as they closed the door since you're in the escape room now? What did I do? Tell me what I did. You screamed like a- I was like, ah! call them and tell them to give me a clue. I was in that room and I was, I was in the basement. I couldn't get out. Couldn't figure out what I needed to do. I was just, I just wasn't, uh, I didn't help the team out last night. I feel like I left everybody down, but you did too. Me, you, and Matt. Dude, at least I found like five out of six clues. Yeah. I don't even want to. I had, I had two more for being out of that stupid thing, and then we were going to be all together as one. Oh, God, we're moving. <laughs> Where are we going? Hey, uh, so do I have to give you a clue how to get out of here? Yeah, what, what do I do? I think you have to back out of the right side. Okay. What are you still doing back there? Because it's smoking. I was, well, I was seeing if I could cook something. Yeah, and then uh, I was cleaning the back glass <laughs> so I could see out of it. And I, I just got done cleaning the front one. So, you know, I'm the smallest person on our team, so I gotta, I gotta get in here and clean the car. <laughs> well, we look forward to seeing you on the right, uh, the left side, not the right side. Thanks, guys. Have a good Friday. Peace out. <laughs> Jeremy Clements, uh, working hard in the right side of that car. Oh, you never know what you're gonna see on a garage cam. I always say it, but this is a perfect example. Jeremy Clements trying to get out. He screamed so loud last night, I thought it was one of the sound effects from the show. You know, from from the, you know, it was hilarious. Blaine Smith, let's talk to funny man Jeremy Clements. And uh, Blaine, uh, I, I hope you're satisfied. I hope you're satisfied. Uh, that'll definitely go down as one of my favorite garage cam moments of the year, for sure. Steve Gibson, we, uh, let's see, Steve Gibson, we have Big Cat to invade a NASCAR event. Like a bobcat. Oh, we need a big cat, like a bobcat or a cougar. Well, that would be kind of cool, a cougar, a bobcat. Gibby, uh, always uh, praying for your brother. I know uh, he's been struggling a little bit with cancer and whatnot. And, uh, we always have a big network of people here from race fans uh, and extends into our garage from these crew guys. We get to know a lot of race fans. And uh, definitely uh, always praying for you and your family. And I uh, hope he's doing well. And Gibby and... Uh, Great that you're watching Garage Cam, buddy. Kyle Larson, Joey Logano, one of the Cup Invaders. We said it before and we'll say it again. Uh, the Xfinity Series regular hasn't won this race since 2002. Dude, that's a long time, okay? So is it gonna happen this week? Will a guy like young William Byron make the splash and get into victory lane? Will it be a veteran? Like this guy, he's got a win here in the Cup Series in that M&M car. I'll never forget when Elliot Sadler won here in the M&M Ford for Roush, uh, excuse me, for uh, uh, Robert Yates Racing. And the old victory lane used to be kind of coming out of turn number four next to the building. It was weird. The entire victory lane smelled like M&Ms. It was amazing. It was just one of the sweetest victories. Yeah, it's a joke, but it was true that I've ever, the only victory lane that I really remember the smell. Let's just put it that way. Speaking of smell, you see the smoke coming out right here and uh, these engines getting tuned. Hendrick Motorsports engine program tuning on this number nine, the junior motorsports ride of rookie William Byron. Taking you inside the garage area now. Big old Benny Mingo getting it done. Got some zip ties, tying some uh, and some air to the driver right there. Some duct work on the right side. Benny Mingo uh, zip tying the air ducts, putting them in their proper positioning. Eric Jones, the number 20 car. Game stop Toyota. Paul Menard, one of the cup invaders this week. I don't see Paul Menard in his car, or Jones in his car. Man, that was pretty cool seeing Jeremy Clements. All cramped up. He is kind of little, so I guess he wasn't cramped up in the side of that car. All right, man, there's a California.
California boy, man. Uh, how much you want to get some home cooking here and get that, that Cali win? Oh, man, I love coming back home. I got grandma coming down. She's actually going to cook some dinner in the bus. So uh, I'm always fired up to come to California and see my friends and family. And I love this racetrack. What's your favorite thing to do here, here on the West Coast? You're so close to home, man. There's so much to do around here. I love going to the beach. Um, I, when I go back to Bakersfield, one of my favorite things to do is go to lunch at this Italian place called Luigi's. Yes, and, it's excellent. Uh, man, it's some of the best food in Bakersfield. And they got so. some of the best racing pictures on the wall there, too. So. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a great time. So I'll get back to Bakersfield, uh, staying out after this race because we have a weekend off. So I'm excited to get back home. All right, enjoy the home cooking right there. Ryan Reed, the drive, Lily's driver diabetes car. There's Bubba Wallace's Lidos, number six. Beautiful car, the purple people eater. Oh, here's the feel-good story of last week, and that feel-good story extends this week, and uh, what a great week it's been for you, Justin Allgaier, after that big, big win. It has been a spectacular week. We, uh, obviously the win was huge. I mean, that was, that was a big part of it, but... Rick Brandt, CEO of Brandt Fresh Agriculture, was at the track, his family, all their customers, employees, had a big group there, so that was cool. You saw all of us in victory lane having a good time after the races were over. But his dad, Glenn Brandt, one of the founders of the company, told Rick on Thursday or Friday that all he wanted for his birthday, which was Sunday, his 91st birthday, was it was a checkered flag. And so when we left the racetrack, I got the flat of Springfield, Illinois, go and put the checkered flag up on their flagpole at the, the main offices there. We might have even done a burnout in the parking lot. Rick Rick was uh, had the checkered flag out the window doing a burnout. And then uh, we got to go from there and fly to Florida and surprise his dad uh, at his 91st birthday party with all of his friends with the checkered flag. So it's been really cool. And then to top it all off, uh, after all of that, my buddy Kelly, and most people have been asking, you know, pray for Kelly and, and get well Kelly on my helmet. Uh, my crew chief for my dirt car, Kelly Kowski, we actually got to take and fly him home from Daytona Beach really? back, to, back to Springfield on, on Tuesday. So it's been a great week. I can't complain. And we're in California, man. The weather's beautiful. I love the uh, I love the West Coast out here. So we got another shot of going and doing it again. All right, man. Uh, you also had a pretty cool moment because Harper, your little girl, wasn't there to, to celebrate Victory Lane, but she gave you a little victory celebration of her own when you came home. She did. We got to FaceTime at Victory Lane, which was really cool. Yeah. Uh, but then when we got home, uh, she was super excited whenever I got back. She, she, uh, her and a friend of ours had made a little cake uh, that they had even put the corn stripe down on the cake and had my number on it, and they had decorated the house, and she had drawn some pictures for me. And You know, this is... This is all about family for me. That's why I do this. This is what I love about this sport. So I was really bummed that she wasn't there, but being able to bring uh, the the trophy and the, the flag home and to show her and to you know she's she's for sure that that's her trophy now. And I'm okay with that. So uh, hopefully we can win another one. She's out here this weekend. Okay. So it'd be really cool to win another one with her here. I get that photo from Victor then. But either way, she's uh, she's relishing in the moment for sure. I know you got to get busy and get in this number seven car, but real quick, you're doing something kind of fun tonight too. Yeah, we're going out to uh, to, to hang out with our buddy Richard Andrew. We're having an event, I think, Blake Cook and Michael McDowell and a uh, couple of us drivers are going to go out there and, and just kind of share our testimony about our faith and to, to listen to Richard sing, which he's an amazing singer. I mean, you've heard him, but, Richard but Andrew. yeah, Richard Andrew. For, the, for those of you who haven't heard him, he's awesome. Uh, great, great Christian singer. And just go to have a little bit of fun. You know, it's, it's going to be a good time and hang out with fans, hang out with uh, fellow Christians, and get to, get to have a good time tonight. So I'm, I'm pumped about that. All right, buddy. Justin Allgaier right there, the big winner last week. And uh, what a feel-good moment that was for this young man. Uh, you know, he's won before in the Xfinity Series, but, you know, last year going winless for this team, that hurt. This team put such an effort into last year and to not come forth with the victory. But remember, they were Final Four for the championship, so nothing was lost there. Daniel Hammer looking to do a little California dream and become a rookie winner at California Speedway, Auto Club Speedway. That would be a tremendous moment. It's tough for these uh, regulars here in this Xfinity Series. 
and this is a really tough track to get a hold of. All right, Daniel Heimrich, uh, who's giving you the best yeah, advice? Hold yeah, you can if you want. Okay, hold it. who's giving you the best advice so far about this tricky place with all those seams and, and all oh, different yeah. groups? It's been cool, RCR, we have so many teammates, so I try to take a little bit from everybody, but I'm just talking to Bubba, just getting a little refresher about what he experienced his first time here. So, see my blue gang mate Chevy have what it needs to go fast. They think, um, you know, hopefully their speed's pretty good, but they tell me I gotta wait 15 minutes before I can go out. So, a little issue last week in tank. But penalty box, but that's it's okay. It's all good, it's all that's good. All good. No, it's gonna be fun to experience, and uh, got 10 feet to up their spot. And, with Harvick, a lot of information, so hope it should be good. All right, man, we saw, we've seen a groundhog before at California. We've seen a groundhog. We got invaded by bees in the garage here a few years ago. Did you? And today, there was an owl I saw on that. the track. Like, that was, like, trippy. It was kind of weird. Uh, it, what, what would you want to be the next animal to invade NASCAR? Oh, man, next animal. Come on, that, you pick it. You pick that's it. That's tough. That's tough. Um, I don't know if I can come up with the exact animal, but I will say this. Last time an animal got on the racetrack, we had a top three finish at Bristol. So I'm oh, gonna yeah. go with that. Any animal's a good animal for me. Okay, so the owl is a good omen for this driver from Kannapolis, North Carolina, Daniel Hamrick. I, I, I'm gonna answer the question because I just thought of one. I don't know why, I haven't thought of one myself, but I'd really like to see maybe a lemur. I think they're really nice. They, they're fuzzy, they have great tails. So we're not talking about you when we said great tails, Stockman. <laughs> Rowdy Bush right here at the number 18. <laughs> oh boy. Brennan Poole, the number 48. Hey, there's Jonathan Merriman again, our star reporter with NASCAR.com. And hey, you got a little interview coming up with uh, a guy that's really making some na a name for himself, and that's Frank Cup saying that uh, Monster Energy Cup Series. There you go. go. You'll get it eventually. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kyle Larson, we're going to sit down to a little bit of a one on one with him. He's from California. Kids finished second in the last three Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series races. So looking forward to have a little bit of a conversation with that guy. He's always uh, good to talk to. And he likes this racetrack. He's good at this racetrack. It's a flat track. It's an old surface. He'll have it sideways out against that wall. He's in the Xfinity Series race as well. So we'll see what he can do Saturday. Maybe that'll translate Sunday. All right, Jonathan Merriman, make sure you watch for that interview on NASCAR.com. It'll be a good one. Austin Dillon, the number three. Matt Tiff, the number 19 surface sunscreen. Toyota. Michael Annette, the number five for Junior Motorsports. Stud PR guy, Hudson Hall. Security and NPR. Corey LaJoy, the U-Theory, number 24, getting this. Toyota Camry all buttoned up and ready to go. Oh man, look, look at this guy. He looks like he means business. This guy looks like he means business. Chris Rice, uh, you ready for this practice, man? Hey, we're so ready for this practice. So ready for the racing here at Auto Club Speedway because it's awesome. And if you haven't went and watched the preview show, you need to go check it out and see who I picked because you need to put them on your fantasy. And you need to put them on your fantasy this week is what you need to do. And uh, I, I like, man, you got some new headsets there rocking. They're, they're beautiful. Look at all the radios. Like it's like 15 people talking to me right now. I, I, and me, I, 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 I feel bad what, for you. What's going on here? But anyway, hey, we we saw an owl on the track before. Owl, any owl? Dad's any, name is Allie. An owl. Oh. An owl was on the track before. Do you, th you? I mean, is that like an omen? I mean, like. Hey, you know, it's a lot of wildlife out here. Last year, I think it was a beaver on a racetrack yeah, or something there, like there's that. There's groundhogs. So, we had bees in the garage. Bees in the garage. We've had a lot of if everything. You had, if you had to pick one piece of wildlife that you'd like to see on uh, at a NASCAR race, what would it be? Um, I would like to see probably a rabbit or. It's kind of boring. You need something better than that. Yeah, man. But. Oh man, I, would, I don't any, know what I'm any like. Any animal, dude. Any, oh, a bear. I'd a like bear. to see a bear I mean, at the racetrack. we're in racetrack. California, that would be I went to a short boat. track one time, seen a bear at Franklin County Speedway. No you know, way. I've seen a bear. In Virginia, yeah. In Virginia, yeah. No way. It, how fast of a lap? What are we talking about right now? I don't know. We can, but we there's go. an owl on the track, uh, so who, oh. who do you think is going to uh, be on top of the board? Will it be the 11? Who? Uh, I don't know. We're not going to do a mock qualifying run, so no. we will not be on top of the board. We're just going to work on race trim. We wasn't that good here in practice last year, so we will be good this time in practice. And I'm pretty excited about today, though. Our lead filter Chevy and our car chief, Micah, have done a really good job. He's been on the radio saying, tell me how good that car chief is. So I'm really excited about how good our car has been. 
And Blake went to the Salt Life last night and got some clothes for himself. He's really scared right now because he's got to go out to practice. But I, I'm pretty excited about our Leaf Filter Gutter Protection Chevrolet. All right, man. Chris Rice. And that's about it for NASCAR.com Garage Cam. Blake, you say goodbye to everybody. Hey, guys. <laughs> that's about it for NASCAR.com Garage Cam. I'm your host, Matthew Dillner, bringing you some fun every week on NASCAR.com. Live, interactive, raw, uncut, unpredictable. You don't know if you'll see drivers inside their car. Wildlife on the track? I don't know, man. This is Garage Cam. Well, the cars are firing up right now, pulling onto the track, and that's about it. Tune in next week. I'm your host, Matthew Dillner, and this is Garage Cam. Until next time, we'll see you at the races.